Hello, friends. Welcome to Nirfast Top Show. Today, I have a very special guest, Vavis Patterji. He is a uh, marketing leader. Today, I am very glad that he has uh, connected with me from Myanmar. Uh, he holds almost two decades of industry experience, uh, primarily in pharma industry domains. And since he being a marketing leader, he has been uh, associated with different organizations, creating overall marketing strategy, planning, executions, and creating an overall, uh, contributing overall profitability and sustainability of the organizations. Uh, apart from his professional experience, he is also associated with different social groups uh, and creating a motivational contents and creating uh, and, and also contributing the overall social impact here. He is passionate about uh, writings, structuring, the, organizing the content and sharing his thoughts with large number of audience. So today I am very glad that Bhavis Bhattaji accepted my request and ready to share and experience his thoughts with all of you. Hello, Vavesi. Welcome and swagat to Nirpa's talk show. <laughs> thanks, Nirpa. Thanks for the invite. And uh, I look forward for the entire conversation. Thank yeah. you very much. For Thank you. So, uh, as you are a marketing uh, leader, right? Probably, uh, we love to hear from you, the overall marketing in general. And what is happening around, uh, around us? It's all about marketing, right? It's, uh, I, I know... The content is the king for any business to survive. Even good marketing makes the company looks smart. Or I can say that uh, good marketing makes the customer success. So what do you love to share your thoughts overall marketing uh, and in general and marketing around us? Surely, Nepa, I'll talk on that. And before starting, I just want to put as a one-liner, as a disclaimer, what you can say that I'm still a student of marketing and communication. And as a student, whatever I'm going to share today is based on my experience, my learnings, and my observation. It may not sound purely theoretical, but it will sound practical, surely. <laughs> uh, so Nipa, answering to your question on the marketing, and what I feel marketing is, is around us is everywhere. Let's an example, if you scroll through your apps and the mobiles and all, you will find that certain advertisements are going on. Or uh, you are standing in the traffic signal, you see a billboard, you will see the advertisement over there. You flip on the magazine pages, your eyes stuck on some advertisements and communication. Or you shift on the mobile uh, TV channels and you will find certain advertisements which are catchy and you hook to it. Yeah. So marketing is, is somewhere if I need to define in a single word, it's all about values. Yeah. The value which a company deliver to the customer based yeah. on their need and thereby they are making the profits. So there are three elements purely which are clearly coming out here is a customer is at the center for which marketing is being done. Yeah. For what? To meet their customer needs and how? By delivering the values. So these are three things which I feel that the Companies deliver a value to the customer beats uh, meeting the needs of the customer. That's how it is. Yeah. Well explained. I think uh, you are absolutely right. The marketing is value. Uh, so, as you just to probably a little want to go more uh, detailed, right? So, in this uh, uh, overall uh, business scenario, marketing plays a very significant role, no doubt. But then, uh, uh, how to reach to the tar uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the target audience and how to basically identify the different uh, uh, persona and then uh, create a overall marketing strategy. That is what at a high level you want to share? Probably. Yeah, absolutely. See, what I uh, consider is a fundamentally marketing has a three pillars. And these three pillars, if you pick up to first year MBA students to a marketing director, they will see straightly, it's a segmentation targeting in position. Right. These are the ways through which a strategy can be coined around it. Now, as a, as a marketer, if I need to sell a product, I'll first infuse a life in the product. And right. when I'm infusing a life, I'll give a name to the product, which is called as a brand name. Right. And brand, when you give a brand name, Brand itself is a life. 
it has its voice it has its image it has its personality and it 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 comes with its value which it delivers to the customers yeah now coming to the three points of the segmentation targeting positioning okay. now we live in a we live in the world where every product has a different kind of a me too products are available let's yeah. talk about the shoes okay as as a category of the sport shoes you'll find a number of brands right from nike to uh, reebok to uh, any other brand you can pick it up there are number of other brands which are there but every individual has its own choice of the brand and why so and why right. they stuck to it right. the the reason is that let's take about the nike nike never sells that my shoes are strong or my soul is strong right they honor they honor athlete they honor sports they promote the the fitness part and that's how when you wear nike shoes you will have that feel like a fit body or fit person so so brand speaks a lot and from where it is coming that when an organization define that which target segments they need to target because a shoes can be wear by anybody but when they identify there is a category of the people who required such kind of a brand who will value my 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 values who will value my values then they become their target segment right and that's how they 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 target on that particular group and when they wear it they feel value about it so identify that target to which my customer will fit in is the most critical task of any market here that who is my target audience and once you fix it then the most critical is the positioning of it how my how my customer are going to perceive my brand and that is what the positioning is are they going to perceive like a strong brand are they perceive like a a, a brand which is on the quality centric are they perceiving like a a brand which is which is giving a economical uh, range of products are they perceiving like a brand with a multiple uh, categories add on values which the brand is providing so it it totally depend at a back end that what i want my brand to be perceived that comes in my positioning and that comes in my communication and that's how the entire world is being made that there is a target segment and two target segment what i want to deliver that will come in my positioning and communication and that's how uh, we sell our products so that it fits in the minds of the customer and customer value it and customer value our values and if it, if they value our values then our job is done that's what i feel about the no market. you have so uh, beautifully explained it right uh, segmenting targeting and positioning but then i believe uh, bhavis bhatta ji now it is an evolving process isn't it absolutely absolutely so uh when we see from a uh, three decades back right. and today how the evolution has happened and i think we are from that generation who has seen that the how the it industry has boomed let's talk about let's talk about uh, 90s where uh, we, we we used to have a one dial phone in our home which yeah. has moved in 2000s uh, 2004 2005 where we could able to hold the mobile phones and now the datas and all and entire world is so close yeah. so marketing is also evolved like that uh, be it uh, using a different medias where it was only a media through the prints it was only the media of the yeah. communication was through channels or the tv channels now it is more on the digitals yeah i think <clears throat> everywhere you can brand your Uh, uh, uh communicate your brand there is a large scope and there is a large avenues through which we can reach our target audience because now if we go by the certain data and statistic i think uh, a normal person hooked to their mobile at an average to 4 to 5 hours in a day True. in between or whatever so there is a large scope of how you penetrate your brand and reach to the minds of the customers and that's how the companies have evolved and companies have adopted it now i come from a pharma background and when i see that uh, that that where this digital 
part is placed in the pharma pharma consider as a very conventional kind of a segment with the traditional mindset of a one to one marketing but there also it has evolved over the years what we can see that a dig- it, it is now taking that digital uh, space and uh, there are good amount of uh, uh, expenses or the resources are been put in the in how to market the brands digitally so surely there is a evolution which has happened and that's how we have to go with the yeah so thank you bhavesh for uh, the point that you have mentioned right uh, but let's move to the next point where uh, i'll share my experience right in 2017 before corona we had uh, started a startup which is a technology startup basically in cloud computing and all and uh, we built a 10 member engineering team also okay but then one of the major challenge that we face is uh, reaching out to the customer and uh, of course in cloud computing there are a lot of already existing uh, startups and then uh, we started creating a differentiator at least in the document and trying to uh, reach out to the customer but then eventually we could not succeed right of course the corona also came and then it put more uh, pressure to us but nevertheless i wa- i would love to hear from you like how any organization that may be startup or my enterprise oh how that overall differentiator of course play very significant role that you kindly explain it us but then overall strategy to creating the differentiator and at least to enter into the market and then eventually a successful organization so yeah nepa you had touched on a very important point which is a core to any marketer which is a differentiator right and uh, uh there's a famous book by jack trot uh, who is a marketing guru uh, the name is a differentiate or die the name itself is a so uh, so uh, catchy yeah. that either you differentiate or you die. die because we are in the world where where there are so many brands are there in the me too category you, uh, you pick up any any uh, toothpaste category let's an example so there are uh, toothpaste for plaque toothpaste for gums toothpaste for um, bad odor toothpaste toothpaste for various other uh, uh, solutions which are there so how you pitch your product what is that one thing which is a core of your heart of your product that is a differentiator and if you are able to sell that differentiator and occupy a very strong position in the minds of the customer your job is done and it's not easy at all it's exactly. 100% not easy at all yeah, yeah. what jack what jack trot has mentioned in his book that uh, we think that there are various ways to differentiate and in my own experience of the pharma we have tried number of times because pharma word as you said that it is like a, unlike consumer it is more of a regulatory market or regulatory controlled uh, promotion segment is there and it's very difficult to differentiate the products where all the generic molecules are same right. so in in one of my assignment with my team and my seniors we could able to find a differentiator in a pack a pack a pack because in the pack inside that medicines comes but in the pack there is a some communication for the patients okay. and that 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 become our differentiator because none of the brands in the market had that kind of a differentiator and we could able to sell that differentiated so strongly that it created a big impact in the industry as well as in that particular sector now what what this author says and i just want to highlight since you have touched upon and it may be very beneficial to the audience who is uh, listening to this uh, talk show yeah he says that differentiate is the heart of any marketing uh, strategy yeah. and there are ways ways to differentiate and yeah. he has uh, put down uh, the number of points which he has put down is a differentiator like a being first in the category is a differentiator mm-hmm. legacy or a heritage is a differentiator let's pick up tata today tata brings anything in the market be it uh, association with the air india your perception will change that air india what it was and what after after tata took over that what will be the perception because tata comes with that trust and faith in the minds of the customer so heritage and legacy also brings a uh, a differentiator quality is a differentiator 
attribute ownership is a differentiator when we are saying attribute ownership let's talk about i was just talking on uh, toothpaste category and and last week i saw in one of the departmental store that there is a mouthwash uh, there is a toothpaste which has come only for night usage it means that we say that we need to brush our teeth two times a day yeah but he but the marketeer and the producer know that most of the toothpaste are for the morning use so exactly. he has smartly he has smartly pitched the product for the night use by highlighting some of the key component which can help in healing that uh, gums or other part which are required when you are sleeping in the night so it will beautifully pitch that communication for that slot so he has created a differentiator smartly and uh pitch that product so attribute ownership is another uh, important kind of a differentiator yeah we are in that world where service is also a differentiator when number of things we can we can offer to the customer in terms of the values right. the service if we are offering it hmm. take an example of maruti or maruti suzuki when they came with uh, the expansion of the service center base across the india with number of service centers they created a differentiator over the hyundai or tata or ford at the time in the car segments so what i mean is that there are ways to differentiate how you identified that differentiator and position in the minds of the customer it's a marketing yeah so so these are the threads which uh, these are the beats which need to be weaved in a thread and Uh, present to the customer and thereby the customer understand that this is the value which i'm getting from this brand yeah. this is my take on that no no thank you differentiate or die right is the key message yeah. uh <laughs> probably in my experience right uh, in uh, i'm part of cloud computing and all so when i try to choose the vendor from aws cloud or microsoft azure or google cloud I, always it keeps to my mind the amount of customer service that gives the aws cloud emergent yeah Absolutely. i mean you just connect with them for any use case or any problems they immediately set up a team and reach out to me and try to find the overall strategy what are the technology component they have and they not only do first time they keep on constantly following me and helping me to solve the customer problems i mean amount of accountability amount of sense of responsibility in terms of giving the best service to the customer that demonstrate uh, to them so despite the microsoft is a very renowned into technologies but still i prefer to choose aws because of the customer service absolutely nipa you have touched very important point here so it's all about the values as a organization what i want to give it to my customer at the end when you are saying this company their core comp- their core value will be a customer service it is a non compromise or no excuse thing like in any case in any ways this should not be compromised if a problem is there for a customer i need to give a solution asap that is my value if i am adhering to that my values that i am creating a differentiator and that's the reason you are glued with that company instead of a big names right so that is the that is the reason in which a marketing is revolving and uh, evolving over the years right yeah 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 thank you bhavesh ji i think uh, your key insight has make a good impact to our overall awareness of marketing uh, strategy to our my audience but let's move to the next part where uh, this pharma marketing right uh, i have been recently connecting with uh, one of the client and okay. it is my first experience basically in my last uh, 16 18 years of experience uh, working with uh, pharma company and i found as you rightly said the very early stage of our discussion right the regulatory is the key uh, concern or key not concern probably the the process and policies and then uh, this kind of the molecules and research and r&d are much involved over there so how sure. overall marketing works uh, in such a uh, uh, very sensitive file say i i have not uh, <laughs> yes yeah. yeah. scenario so yeah i am understanding your question so yeah so whatever i spoke so far is more about the general way in which a marketing at a consumer level is being right. done but a pharma market is a little different and if i need to define or compare or differentiate let's use a word differentiate between a regular marketing and a pharma marketing there are three components i can do that 
the first one is that unlike a regular uh, marketing or a consumer marketing there is a customer and there is a product there is a brand and there is a customer and customer is a consumer you go and purchase shoes or you go and choose a louis philip brand to wear a shirt so you are a customer who pick up the brand and you are a consumer also sure. but in in pharma marketing we sell a product to a customer who is not a consumer so we promote to a doctor mm-hmm. and doctor prescribe a product which is consumed by the patient who is my consumer so here my customer is not equivalent to consumer that is a first point of difference i would say uh, the second point which i want to highlight over here is that medias the media in regular marketing when you have a different medias like you have a tv print digital and there is a freedom of communication of marketing your brands in pharma it is more regulated more controlled and more encouraged as a one to one marketing because there are ethical prescriptions product which need to be prescribed or which need to be sold on prescription only and when when it need to be sold on prescription only as a marketer we need to take this products or this brands to the doctors and promote our attribute and benefits thereby he get convinced and prescribe the products for the patients who are suffering from different diseases so my media over here is my medical rep representative exactly yeah who is who is not smarter than the doctor who is an mm-hmm. average guy exactly so my critical task is that when i'm saying positioning what i'm going to position my brand to the uh, doctor's mind and how my person how my uh, representative is going to sell the or communicate to the doctors it creates a difference yeah so it is it is it is very difficult to uh, deliver the same amount of thought which you are thinking as a marketer because the same communication will be communicated by a medical representative to the doctor so my media is very critical whom we need to train whom we need to groom so that he can deliver the communication effectively so yeah. here the second difference my media is not a print media or e media or digital media my media is a person who is going to communicate the third one which is core to my heart is that working in pharma is like working in a service industry right. every day we get a chance to heal someone every day we get yeah. a chance yeah. to bring smile on the uh, ailing faces every day we get a chance to save somebody's life i think nothing more uh, uh, fruitful uh, working in some kind of organization which serve with so many brands for the so many diseases i think that is uh, i would say that is a third part i i am not undermining the consumer marketing from a purpose driven but i would say uh, we are more direct because in terms of life saving which is close to the people's heart and that's where i will say that it is more purpose driven industry where we have that chance to serve people uh, by healing their wounds yeah <laughs> that may be the reason i have seen your profile where you have been engaged in one company for a long time in india it is very less very anyway that is a good thing so even uh, you are saying that uh, when i was engaged is one of the pharma company recently so the 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 executive who who had a discussion for while onboarding me so he asked me what is, what what motivates uh, you to work with us and then probably before he wanted to know my view he shared his view because he she was sharing that because i am asking you because i always inspired by the amount of uh, transformations or amount of impact that i am creating through my work of course he was yeah. involved into technology research and so on and that he expect the same kind of bigger picture that i should connect or associated while working working with his pharma company <laughs> yeah absolutely i think that is at the end of the day what we want is that peace uh, when we go in the night and sleep that what i contributed i think this gives us a peace exactly in some or other way we are creating a difference in small or big way we are creating that impact yeah. that is what the core thing is that at the end of the day yeah 
True, I agree. In pharma company, then primarily you are saying uh, the who are the uh, the sales rep is the one of the target audience for you, right? No, so my target audience will be the doctors, and my consumers are the actually the patients. So yeah. when we are saying that the customer meeting the customer need is my core doctors only because we are taking the products or brands to the doctors only mm -hmm. and promoting it. Yeah. consumers are going to use the brands which a doctor is going to prescribe so the products being used by the consumer who are the patients yeah. and so and slowly gradually slowly gradually what is happening is that there are two parts in this there is one my customer as a company's customer is a doctor and doctor's customer is a patient if you see from a business business angle yeah. right as a pharma company my customer is a doctor and doctor's customer is a patient yeah. and if if we associate this two elements doctors and patients and that's the reason most of the companies now uh, now more patient friendly and creating certain programs around the patients and by saying that dear doctor i am doing something for your patients and thereby there is a complete ecosystem can be created where all are interlinked with each other and there is a dependency on each other so that's how the the things are evolving and that's how the marketing is evolving in the pharma setup too yeah i completely understand oh. <laughs> yeah good point overall uh, marketing uh, in pharma i think uh, definitely this kind of uh, insightful talk will help the audience as well but let's move to the next part uh, and then it is more specific uh, to the different individuals uh, who are uh, doing the entrepreneurships uh, today in india and abroad right primarily the technology or digital technology helps people to reach uh, to the customer right in a in a very easy and uh, mm -hmm. the fastest way compared to the traditional approach i think you agree with right. me right overall uh, largely earlier if you want to set up a marketing strategy marketing setup it is huge cost and effort today because of digital marketing it is relatively easy and therefore we are uh, there are a lot of startups are coming today but then uh, in overall digital strategy or uh, or if you think about the small startup or, or individual uh, uh, content creators or uh, uh, the, the the coach trainer lot of people are uh, doing good job and creating an impact in the society but for many of them or especially the beginners the one of the major challenges the branding unless and until he is able to create a personal branding and not able to uh, reach the overall uh, value that he wanted to give to the his audience that is not for uh, the he is not going to survive i believe right so you as a marketing leader kindly share with us what is the all about personal branding and how can we create the personal branding and so on and so forth so nipa my understanding is very simple of personal branding and i will say with the heart yeah, uh, this is uh, personal branding we don't need a personal branding this is first thought i have in my mind because yeah. we as a person we are brand in ourselves till the time we sell it right we have our own values we have our own culture and we have our own thought process yeah today let's an example like if we don't market ourselves and when we go to the office daily do our work we may have some or other perception in the minds of the people whether it's a peers or uh, superiors or whoever you see mm. for me it, in some 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 or other way i personally feel this is a personal branding if i am a disciplined guy if i am a hard working guy i am a diligent guy and if somebody ask him that how this guy is and if he says the same thing i think i have branded myself there's no need to brand because this is how i am so when we are like who are we are we are doing the personal brand yeah so this is what my belief system in a one line now so this is indian values right indian belief absolutely <laughs> absolutely yeah. now but the thing is that now in today's world we need to go out and we need to showcase our things because it's a quite competitive world now if it has to be done also it doesn't change with your base thing exactly now basis basis is the core and 
if you ask that personal branding the first question is why you need a personal brand you need to define that why first that is very important yeah i want to do personal branding because i am i'm just giving example i uh, want my future employer to see or i am doing to contribute my learning to the people or yeah. i am want to add um, learnings through some or other way yeah. or i want to share to some people what is the that core why and when i'm defining why very clearly then the then the answers we get very clearly that how you can do it yeah so the defining why is very important now if somebody from the, the question which you asked is for the startup and new people why they want to do personal branding so the answer can be i want to create impact in my industry in this and that way whatever the definition is that once you get that why clear you will get your answers that how you can do it right and there and we live and that part where the digital world is evolved to that level that there are so many avenues to brand ourselves yeah. now today nipa brings uh, people on the talk show is nipa individual branding if you see okay. from that angle right because you are saying that i want to empower the society by bringing certain minds on my talk show who can share and add value to the audience that is a branding exactly so 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 the belief system which you have that i want to contribute to the society which some or other way by bringing the minds on my talk show who can add value to my audience is to me is a personal brand so defining a why is very important second is that again it will go back to the normal marketing branding structure who is your target segment right. and what communication what is the positioning of it segmentation targeting positioning here also comes so right. after defining the why you need to have that who who i want to influence yeah. what i want to communicate that yeah. should be very clear in the personal branding and i think overall uh, in a single word if i need to define a personal branding it's an image it's an image what you create about yourself in the minds of the people yeah. that is a simple word i can say as a definition of a personal brand yeah no no that's my point. thought i i am at least i am very clear i hope my audience will also be clear so basically the the value system the core value system which will be the fundamental and then if we start so uh, giving the value based on your foundational uh, uh, component that you have eventually you will be the brand that is what you are saying right absolutely absolutely i think that is that is what you are creating a base and foundation on which your building will be uh, built yeah. right So yeah even in the village if you see right where i personally a uh, farmer's uh, family background where my father is a teacher but the mm-hmm. along with his teacher he has contributed large number of social engagement either it is creating a temple and bringing the harmony in the society creating a yeah. schools and uh, bringing the lot of uh, contribution for educating the poor i mean over a period of time he did not work for any branding but he is not mm. for social work absolutely and that is what i was saying that yeah exactly so, so the value system that he thinks that along humko hamare jeevan jeevan mein humka humko akele ke liye nahi samaj ke liye bhi kuch karna hai ye bhavna unke paas tha and that Bilkul. bhavna has created uh, a brand for him and absolutely. probably so that's the reason thing. so be yourself i think and when you be yourself that's the way you are you will create in some or other way your personal brand there's no need to market yourself marketing needed then you need to design your thoughts on segmentation targeting positioning for some purpose but then again the why should be clear but in a regular way it's all about personal branding is all about your image what you bring and what you give to the people with whom you are working or doing your business right yeah thank you and that applies across any sectors either it is social entrepreneurships or uh, personal initiatives absolutely and- absolutely thank you sir i am very glad that you have given a lot of insight <laughs> but then last point right um, you are initially i am not sure if you can recollect or not my association with is when you start creating the content about the importance of writing the right. content <laughs> the writing right and you started saying that when we write it helps us to organize our thoughts it helps us to struct make a structure and communicate effectively and efficiently 
because most of the time we keep on reading but we don't write it right so i would love to hear when you started writing what kind of benefit that you get through the writing and probably that will help definitely to to some of our youngsters who stop writing and uh, becoming more uh, consuming the data but it should be i think both the reading and writing right so kindly share with us and probably this will be the last question i'll not take more than yeah sure sure uh, so nipa i would be very honest uh, with you because there's a heart to heart talk Right. and um, thank you so much communication communication is something which was very core to me right from my beginning because i belong to the field of marketing right uh, but communication sometime what happen when you read when you uh, work when the, there are so many thoughts it is very difficult to organize your thoughts and speak clearly or write clearly right uh at one moment of time in my career it it used to came out as one of my weaknesses identified by my people around us who has given me a right feedback to improve on my communication so that i organize my thoughts and present it effectively yeah. and that's how i worked uh, on it and in that element what i found writing is one of the big biggest help which uh, came out very clearly because writing help in arranging the thoughts right writing helps in easing out your energies writing helps in healing yourself writing helps in uh, structuring and connecting the dots yeah. i think that is where uh, uh, writing helped me and when i started reading books more during the covid times and then i thought there are a lot of thoughts are getting accumulated and it's a good time where i can able to share to the larger audience and that's where i started writing article started building habits and i i would say that it's not i'm not a good writer or i'm not a bad writer but i'm a mature writer i'm improving on it so i'm again i'm saying it's a it's a work in progress and communication is a lifelong learning we all are the student of public speaking and it's a lifelong learning and that's how i'm doing it so yeah i i think that uh, writing is somewhere more than communication or uh, more than speaking writing uh, make you yourself more because you think and then write it's it's not a two way it's it's, it's a one on one way so when you say one way you write with your thoughts and when you put down your thoughts uh, it it gets structured and uh, organized more and that's where it helps in communication again i'm linking with the writing and uh, to the audience who are listening to it there are good uh, uh, coaches who are there in the field of the communication as well as uh, one of the way in which it helped me is the mind maps i i took the training from Sh- dr shubhra uh, in the in, in 2021 and the mind map is something which has helped me a lot because mind maps are maps which your thoughts can be arranged struck in organized way because our mind is not uh, read the words line by line the mind is scattered so yeah. when the thoughts are arranged and organized properly in the map form then you can able to deliver your talk you can write and organize your thoughts and write clearly so yeah. at this platform if shubhra is going to listen that i would like to thank dr shubhra over here because she has helped me on this and i'm using this tool for making all my thoughts all my communications all my writing articles as well as in my business part also i'm using mind map as one of the tool to create content and communication so yeah. this is my thought me found this no no absolutely uh, awesome right absolutely amazing i mean uh, even it helped me uh, obviously after uh, your motivational uh, or is uh, content i started writing myself and then it helped okay. me to organize my thoughts Uh, but then uh, just a uh, little bit of uh, critical uh, questions probably uh, when we nowadays connected to in zoom meeting or uh, microsoft team meeting and so on uh, what is your uh, thoughts in terms of uh, like uh, should i start right uh, noting down immediately because you are listening and writing that will not uh, distract you or or you should finish uh, finish that discussion and then you should write what is what is your point so this is a good question see the thing is that sometime it happens that 
if you are able you we see our human mind is like that we will not be absorb the things uh, at the end of the session and we'll recall all the point which were there so that's the reason i'm saying that mind mapping is a very good tool whether you are sitting and thinking and preparing some content and you want to write it or you want to attend a lecture or you are attending a meeting and you want to note down the points mind map is very good tool where you can create a mind map by listening to the person and that's the reason that when you are listening to the person you just now just create that map in a very faster way once you practice it then your entire session or entire discussion is covered in a single page and when you read that mind map you will able to link all the things which and you will remember that that is the beauty of the mind map yeah i am going to connect dr subra after this meeting yeah you 100% do that <laughs> and this is my recommendation to all the people who are going to listen even i'm um, my my son's uh, vacation is there after one month and uh, i'm going to connect to dr subra uh, so that he can also attend uh, mind map sessions with her. thank so you this is a very amazing tool uh, very good tool for all the people who are in the field of communication in some or other yeah so uh, the 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 last point about writing right last discussion that you said right uh, writing help energize us giving the more concentration powerful and so on i will just share my small uh, experience of course that time i was not connecting with you uh mm. because of certain reason i had to write i had to write because i had a plan to go abroad in australia or new zealand so there you have in australia or new zealand instead of uh, ilet you have an option for pte pearson mm. test academy so mm. that english that is an english exam global level english exam of course mm. i passed in three attempts that is different story but in the in the, during that at, uh, attempt right the my uh, trainer was from uh, north india very nice person so he asks me because the writing i have to clear so he asks mm. me to write almost uh, two three uh, kind of a almost uh, 300 words of sentences uh, words in some essay and so on uh, i since mm. i have to pass the exam i had no other options i had to write so i start right. writing and then now uh, what happened like uh, since exam was closure i have to go office or while going office also as soon as i go to office it becomes so much unorganized clutter and i sometimes it is very dis- and then you know the bangalore traffic and so on but then when i go there in office and i i just write the one essay 200 words mm. or 300 words after finishing mm. the essay i feel so focused so energized that my rest of the work goes smoothly that is a very true experience really? that i am sharing one one more thing i would like to share since the discussion is going on this uh, writing and it is associated with the journaling also so as a habit of journaling i uh, started one and half year back mm-hmm. and uh, this i practice it five out of seven days that i would be very honest in the morning time after my exercise part i'll do 15 minutes of journaling i'll write whatever coming in my mind at that time whether some thoughts are bothering me mm-hmm. whether something uh, uh, stress is there mm-hmm. which is bothering me or something good is going to happen or good has happened yesterday mm-hmm. which is uh, which has give me certain learning mm-hmm. or certain experiences or observation which has helped me so i put down those thoughts and this when you write those thoughts if you have a stress i can bet you it will ease out exactly if that is what happened yeah if you have certain learnings when you note it down it will be there as a document which you can use it some or other way because this is something which you learn on that day so it is a different from diary but journaling is something where it 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 moves all the energies out on the paper and then uh, you you feel little lighter that is the beauty of that yeah i completely agree probably i'll connect more offline to on understanding the journaling <laughs> part So thank you, Babish Ji. Uh, it was extremely uh, now wow, insightful discussion about the overall marketing strategy, personal branding, mind mapping, communications. I think it would it definitely help my audience and of course myself as well to to educate on this area and become a uh, someone who can create some positive impact in the society. So thank you, Nipal, for having me in this show. <laughs> yeah, I look and, forward uh, to connect with you again with this kind of. Uh, a uh, insightful conversation and uh, till then i wish you great success ahead you would love to share thank you
Thank you. Thank you. Only one line, uh, last message, because again, I'm saying right from the way I started that I'm still a student of marketing communication. Whatever I shared is based on my experience and learnings. So nothing from a theory, but the thing is that these are the way in which we can share and uh, exchange our thoughts. This is just a thought on which I came and then I shared with you. It was wonderful conversation with you. Thanks, Nipa, for having me in this show. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nostaji. Uh, I wish you nice. great, great success ahead and good health. Thank you, Nita. Good Nice wishes to you. Too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.